it's an empty suit. It's been empty the whole time. It doesn't fit me anymore. Isaac? I, I mean, Ed Davis? No, it's Isaac Davner now. Those astronauts at the camp, are, are you working with them? Not anymore. When the mission went bust, I tried to run away. But I had to run into the Moose Ear Diner and fall in love with the waitress. I've been trying to make a new life ever since. Hermes 2. I haven't seen it in any of the official records. It was a secret mission based on confidential research from some crazy scientist. They sent us to the moon with a device, a lunar ray. We were ordered to put it on the surface, but something went wrong. A lunar eclipse? I guess so. The boys on the surface didn't have a chance. As Soon as they got back to the module, they went completely insane. Had to lock them in the airlock and scuttle the mission. And you crashed in Scoggins. I realized that the ray was a weapon. I saw you taken away by the hidden people, didn't I? Yeah, they brought me back to the lander. Why did they take you there? I don't know. They whisper, but in a language I don't understand. I'm not sure why, but I think they were taking me to the lunar ray. They want me to destroy it. I'll help you, Isaac. You will, but aren't you with the FBI? That lunar ray is way too powerful to return to the government. And besides, I'm on vacation. The government guys have already found the lander. We'll have to get rid of that guard. Does your gun have a silencer? We don't have to hurt anyone. Maybe if I make a noise, I can distract him.
Now we've got to shut down that ray. The only safe place for that ray is at the bottom of Lake Sven. Keep an eye on the site while I check it out. Agent Tethers, if the government gets that weapon, they'll be able to turn anyone into feral, screaming lunatics, just like my crewmates. That's it! That's their home! But the ray, it's repelling them, keeping them from returning home. I've got to disable it. locked in my own room. The story was that it was for my own safety. I guess I should be thankful they didn't send me to jail. Hello? Nelson, finally! Oh, hello, Jim. Listen, it's about these Scoggins tapes. Enough with the tapes already! Yeah, I'm really, really sorry about that, but you've got to hear this. I think you left your recorder on or, or something. It's labeled, Sighting Hotel Alley. That's when I saw one of the hidden people whispering to Bo Murphy. There's this weird sound. I can't make it out. Wait, I know that sound. It was playing under Olaf Wellhaven's Reel to Reel. That explains it. Thanks, Jim. Uh, okay, but what does... I figured out how Olaf Velhaven was able to solve the problem of lunacy. It's the hidden people. He was inviting them into his cabin to speak to him. I've got to get back to Olaf's cabin. And that means finding a way out of this room. Now, how did Olaf get the hidden people to talk to him? Looks like Olaf was a fan of Galileo. The moist white flesh of the codfish. But enough of that. It is time to call my tiny friends. Yes, what luck! Come, speak with me, my friends.
wall of whispers, tides of consciousness. Kirchhoff's principle, rotation affects orientation. Eighth-dimensional combinatorics, the center cannot hold. The moon's gone black, must hurry. Did it.
no! I'll never be able to destroy it in time. Welcome back, Special Agent Tethers. Hi, Jim. Anything exciting happen while I was away? Oh, never mind that. I got the latest issue of Puzzle Sensei. Um, think you could give me a hand with this one? Another puzzle solved. Don't look so disappointed, Jim. That was a hard one. It's not that. I'm just going to miss your help when I'm transferred. Transferred? Yeah, I've been relocated to the Tundra Division, Arctic Circle Outpost. When the directors found out I'd warned you they were sending agents to Scoggins, they called it a breach of protocol. Oh, Jim, I, I feel terrible. Here, take this my entire back collection of Puzzle Sensei magazines since issue number one. Wow! But aren't they full of the answers? I use tracing paper. You don't miss a thing, Nelson. Hey, is that a postcard from the Davners? Good to see they're happy anyway. Yeah, happy. What could go wrong in Bermuda? 